Washington has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. Nice kick, plenty of distance, and it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 47. by the defense to stop him for a short game. The punter is going to try to pin him deep in their own territory with a good punt here. Booming kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Huskies, in talking with them this week, Kirk, it's just interesting, their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself, and I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to be a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him to football in different areas of the field. This kid had a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I'll be shocked if they can slow him down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And he just gets rid of it. Well, I just think this quarterback's got to do much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He wants it all. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. And that's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Scott is back deep to return the punt. And this one is a beauty. They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. It's a nice first down by this offense. You can see the wide receiver here carries the football. You're talking about a very versatile offense that's tough to defend and very unpredictable. Throws it in a hurry. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense 
needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. Warnock all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. From the 11-yard line, it's second down. Second down. Deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Quick throw, almost intercepted. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 25 yard line. Gets it out to his receiver on a hurry. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He's in trouble. He's going to go for the home run. Missed him. I'll tell you, if he put a little bit more air under that ball, that would have allowed the receiver to run right underneath it and catch it right in stride. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. And they push him out at the 46 yard line. down and they need to get it inside the 48. yards to get the first down here on third down. Why? 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 
target on the play. That's going to bring up fourth down. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. Scott, the return man. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He's an effort. He's not the type of guy to call up there and catch very often. He does have the ability to make guys miss. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Clemson is up four. He's out of run. He is drilled at the 34-yard line. I think he could have taken a risk down the field, but he played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. And he jumped out of bounds on the 47 yard line. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter, or blame the offenses for a lack of production. Clemson leads it 7 3. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. Aaron and that ball doesn't get there. Now the timing here between the quarterback and the receiver looked a little off there. Sometimes that happens, especially on a deep throw. From their own 47-yard line, it's second down. to Junior, and he tackles him hard at the 38. He's got an opening. Nice run there as they work the outside. Around four yards there on the quarterback keeper. Impact. It can damage the team's confidence if it keeps happening. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. Clemson holds a four-point lead. Scott, 
spot is the deep man awaiting the return. He really got a hold of that one. And he just got stood up right there. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much and that can cause mistakes. Clemson, with seven points. tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. He's on the run. And down he goes. Around the 16-yard line. is hoping to make this a two-score game. The kick is up, and he's got it. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. Washington's coaching staff, I've got to think, going into halftime, and we're getting close right now, Kurt. They've got to do something different. What they had planned with their star running backs is not working today. Well, I think the cotton between a coaching staff and a quarterback for offense is tested. Uh, their, their star players not having a great game, they're losing this football game. I think now they're the first time. Now they're going to start to think about what other ways can we attack this defense. And then maybe eventually we get back to our star running back, but in the meantime, let's try to find some other ways to attack and be able to put points up. Hey, we got time right, time right. From their own 26 yard line, second down.
And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. First and ten, ball on the 50. Takes it out to about the 36. create that touchdown. The draw within a field goal. And he tacks on the extra point. A nine play, 71 yard drive. And they get it in for seven. You, know, you can throw the football as well as these guys can. You don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. So the score now, 13-10. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Clemson is up by three. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. Clemson's going to take their first time out of the half. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 27-yard line. It's a beauty. He makes it out to maybe the 29 yard line. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. Well, it's one thing to have speed, it's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers have done an outstanding job of being able to make their reads out of their breaks and the quarterback puts the ball right on the line. Second down, 10 to go. Ball of the 29. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Makes it out to about 
the 37-yard line. The Tigers, by the time I get to second of the half. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. Two-yard line. First down. Clemson has a three-point lead. right there. He's very fortunate. Next time he should just throw it away out of bounds. It's third down and six to go. Oh. 36. Lockdown. Oh. Down the 36-yard line. Washington is going to have to use their second time out of the half. catch very often. It does have the ability to make guys miss. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Nice run there. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. 13-10, Clemson. Hi everybody, glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. David is Dave Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Defense has been in total control in the first half and you'd think maybe the offense's confidence was shaken, but if you want to look at the entire team picture, David, how big a deal is it for an offense to know, look, if we can just put together one, maybe two good scoring drives, our defense has got our back? Well, a lot of times when you know you have a defense, it's great, too, is you build your offense around it. And when I say that, why do I need to take chances? You know, if it's third and long, I don't mind throwing a five-yard pass, and if I break a tackle, I get a first down. I mean, don't put my defense that's dominant, that's great, in a bad position, and, and you can afford to be more conservative. You see it every single year. What do we always talk about here at ESPN? We talk about you, you, defense wins championships, and that's how you win ball games. And you see it consistently unfold. So if I'm building an offense, let's just not put my great dominant defense in a bad position. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. Great first half, but a tight ball game. And we're set to start quarter number three. And he got all of this one. Great hit. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tigers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football turf. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Offense lines up in a five-wide set. The defense anticipating pass here. Fires out to his receiver. They get four yards on that pass play. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. going on that possession. Scott is back to receive. It's away and it's a booming punt. Well, that was a great punt and there was even better coverage on the return. The 
take over here, ready to start a new series. Tyson is up a field goal. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 31 yard line. Second down. Gets to around the 42. They come out of a five wide set. the 43 yard line. So the delayed handoff gets maybe a yard. Second down now, they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. On play action. Good protection. Throws it deep. Doesn't get there. neutralizing the blocks, these linebackers are able to come up and make plays in the holes. They'll make the sack. I think this defense is going to do a great job of getting after the quarterback. Not only the sack in this game, but it seems like the entire game has done a good job of creating pressure making this quarterback feel it, and almost giving him happy feet back there where he doesn't seem to be in rhythm, almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. Third and long here, and they hope to convert another one and keep this drive going. Once and all, going deep. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmaker. Scott is the deep man awaiting the return. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Scott takes it to 25. He's tackled at the 31. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. Clemson holds a field goal lead. He's 
is hit and taken down. see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. From their own 38-yard line, second down. The crowd, the crowd. The mic, Mike seven. Forced to run it away here. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Low scoring ball game, Kurt. You know, it only takes one big run, one big pass play, something like that, or maybe in the return game. They could bust this thing wide open. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's pushed out of bounds at the 32 yard line. Looking like both sides trying to get away with some showing while the ball is in the air. Here's the call. Concentration laps right there. The coaches will be giving them an earful for it, too. From their own 32 yard line. First down. Get to that quickly. Right around the 46 yard line. That makes it second and six. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. Somehow, he was able to throw the ball away. From their own 36-yard line. Third down. The receiver's got the first down. And he's taken down at the 45-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33. He gets to about the 24 yard line. Keep this up. The defense will wear down very quickly. From the 19-yard line, it's first down. Fires incomplete. That pass didn't look exactly right when it left his hand. Sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball, and it comes out a little wobbly. And this is the eighth play of the drive. yards away here on third down.
with this drive. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the one. They'll bring him down right around the six yard line. The defense was in the backfield by the time he took the pitch. Great penetration. This is the 12th play of this drive. is nothing more than a chip shot. Washington can tie it up here with this kick. He gets it up and they tack on three points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You gotta make every possession count. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. On the ground, he's gonna get back to the line. From their own 22 yard line, second down. to the receiver and falls incomplete. Pretty good effort here by the quarterback in trying to squeeze that ball into a tight spot. I know it was incomplete, but he didn't have too many other options. Like we're starting from zero here in a one-quarter game now. Every possession is vital. Lost the ball. Come on. And they fall on the loose ball. Great play by the defender to pick up that ball for the recovery. It was a clutch play as well. Now their team has all the momentum. This is when things get a little quicker. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Second down. Fires to his tight end. Nothing to it. The 
Digger looks like he's ready to tip this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. in the second down and long situation. There's the strike to Jesus. He's tackled on the 19-yard line. play and I think the offensive coordinator just tried to pull a fast one. Scott will be the return man. They get this one off and it's a beauty. Going for the corner and they push him out to the 47-yard line. Both teams realize that with a ball or snap, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Clemson is up by three. situation here, second down and one. Fakes to the back. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. First and ten. 
Ball on the 39. He gets rid of this one. There's a one possession game with this kick right here. Kicks up and it sails through the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. They'll bring him down at the 18 yard line. Offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big caps for the running back last time. Lawson two on the run by the halfback. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 16-yard line. Clemson. Up seven points. Offense's best bet seems to be to keep the ball on the ground. That's always been a very positive thing. It'll keep the defense honest, and they won't be able to just play the pass. The contributions from this defense is one reason they've got the lead. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. 
Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He makes the catch and has a first down. Excellent play as the quarterback found his receiver for a big game. Well, give credit here to the receiver for finding that seam and coming up with a nice game for the offense. It's first and ten. Ball in their own 47. Quick throw to the tight end. Really kept his boys under pressure and delivered a pretty nice little ball right there. He took what the defense gave him that time, which is okay. It keeps the yards to go a little bit more manageable. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. Third down, five yards to go. Ball in the 48. Oh, oh, oh. It's too tough, and it's a line in the sky. That was very close to being a total disaster for this offense. They need to punish desperately and almost blew that chance. They've got to take better care of the football. going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. A conversion there could have really helped it, but it just wasn't to be. The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball to make sure they don't make any mistakes. Gets out to around the 28. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 28-yard line. That's it. the 19-yard line. The Huskies, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the ball. They'll go down to one knee. Clemson is up by a touchdown. He fights forward to about the 19. A great one to win, a really tough one to lose. 23-16, Clemson. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, President, we're saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.